Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Gemini, whoever it is that Gemini is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. One more shuffle. All right. What are this person's current feelings for Gemini? All right, we have the Six of Cups, Judgment in Reverse, and Page of Pentacles in Reverse at the bottom, the Emperor, the Hangman, Queen of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Okay. Mm -mm. I feel like a, an energy of possessiveness, possessiveness coming from this person. It could be an Aries. I feel like this person is looking at you like you're their property, you know, like you belong to them. They're very emotional about you with the Six of Cups, um, but you seem to be emotionally closed off to them with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, they're waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for, but we're going to find out. Ace of Cups is in reverse, so the relationship is not, um, it's not on stable ground right now. The uh, connection seems to be broken between the two of you. But it just kind of looks like this person doesn't want it to be broken. This person wants to have your attention again. But you seem to be um, staying away from this person, not talking to them, not contacting them. You're, you're keeping to yourself and you're um, protecting your heart. All right, let's clarify. Spirit, what can you tell me about this emperor? Yeah, I feel like this person is waiting for you to open up to them again. Let's see. What can you tell me about this emperor, Spirit? All right, Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, Empress in Reverse. Yeah, this person feels like they've lost control of you. With the Empress in reverse, they feel like they've lost control. They feel like you have shut down. You've shut down, you're, you're blocking them, you're turning your back on them, you're keeping them away from you, and they don't like it. Let me see the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups connected to this person, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Lovers. This person feels like um, you are a missed opportunity or you're about to be a missed opportunity for them. They're very emotional about it with the moon card. They're very emotional about this missed opportunity that they feel is happening here between the two of you or that's happening to them because you have decided to close off. They still feel a very strong connection with you, uh, with the lovers here. They still feel a lot of desire for you 
And with the moon card, this is attachment energy. So they still feel really attached to you. Let's see what the hangman is. Tell me about the tell me about hangman spirit. Ooh, well, the two of cups. Okay, so now we have two of cups and the lovers. I feel like there's a mutual love here between the two of you. I am picking up on mutual love. Okay, tell me about um, Hangman. Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It just kind of looks like um, love is not enough for you, Gemini, um, in this situation. You might feel like this person, you know, even though they might feel this strong emotional connection to you, it doesn't look like you feel loved by this person. You haven't felt loved by them. You don't feel like this person really cares about you just by the way they've treated you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse connected to Gemini spirit. Queen of Cups in reverse connected to Gemini. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. And the Star. So Gemini, you might be you might be feeling conflicted here with the Nine of Swords. A part of you might still um, desire this person. You might still feel um, passion or um, just a strong connection with them. But um, you're worried about something, though. I'm not sure what you're worried about. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What is Gemini worried about? Temperance in reverse to the Seven of Swords to the Four of Cups. Temperance in reverse. Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. So you're worried about this person's lies. This feels like a very liar, I don't know, cheater type of energy. Someone who has um, their options open. I feel like that this is how you view them. You feel like the relationship is unhealthy because this person um, chooses to keep their options open instead of being loyal and committed to you. So, but you're kind of tempted with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Some of you have these moments of feeling tempted to open the door back up for this person, but then you remind yourself how this person has deceived you and how they're a player, basically. And it causes you to um, remain closed off. All right. All right, let's take a deeper look at their intentions with you, Gemini. Let's take a deeper, deeper look at that. Hold on, what was the card here? I think it was the, the Queen of Cups. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let me just gather these cards real quick. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about this person's current true and real intentions with Gemini? What does this person truly want with Gemini currently? All right, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. Spirit, what does this person currently truly want with Gemini? What are this person's true intentions here with Gemini? So we have the Three of Cups. They definitely want a reunion with you. 
tell me more about what they truly want with uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Sun in the reverse. So they want to start over again with you. They want a new beginning with the Wheel of Fortune. They want things to move forward again between the two of you. Uh, but we do have the Sun in reverse, so we'll see. Bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. What is this? You know, Gemini, I just feel like this person, they still don't want to go there with you. They still don't want to go there with you. It's like they want to pick, they want to, they want to pick up where you two left off. They want to reunite with you and um, move forward with you again. But they don't want any type of commitment is what I'm getting. So, I mean, this feels like a waste of time, you know? I feel like you're dealing with a, a career time waster. Why is the sun in reverse showing up here, spirit? In connection to what this person wants with Gemini? Six of wands. Oh, six of wands. To the seven of swords and the eight of swords in reverse. Well, this person is definitely keeping secrets here. Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So they don't want you to... What they want is for you to not figure out what they're doing um, behind your back with the Sun in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. They don't want you to figure out what they're doing behind your, behind your back. They don't want you to figure out their secrets. The things that they're hiding from you. It's connected to the Six of Wands, which means that this person is making themselves available to, mul to multiple people. They're presenting themselves as single and they're being open to, uh, um, op to the options that are surrounding them. With the Nine of Wands here, um, you're dealing with someone who's very, very insecure, even if they um, present themselves as a confident person. They're not. They're very insecure. Um, I feel like this person's just really good at acting or pretending with the King of Pentacles, that they're stable, that they're, um, that they're confident, but they're not. This person has a lot of issues because I, I do see the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This does represent someone who wants a relationship, um, a stable relationship, a stable commitment. Um, so kind of looks like they want that. But there's another, there's another part of them that doesn't, though, with the Six of Wands. They don't feel safe. So this person is very um, indecisive about what they ultimately want for themselves do they want to be in a relationship or do they want to be single i feel like they go back and forth between um, wanting those two things but in regards to what they want with you they want to reunite with you reconnect with you start over again with you let's see the world i mean wheel of fortune spirit spirit tell me about the wheel of fortune in regards to what they want The moon, ten of swords, and the star. The star, really? What do you mean, the star? Six of wands and the eight of swords? Man, this person is just crazy. They're all over the place. Tell me about the star. Man, this person cannot make up their mind. That's the problem. They just can't make up their mind. Every day they feel something different. They want something different, you know? 
What's the star in regard? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. They're, they keep changing their mind about what they want. Look, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Lovers. That's your card, the card of Gemini, with the Queen of Pentacles, which is a perfect match to the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is the a new beginning um, towards a committed relationship. So <clears throat> this is what they want with you, with the star card. They want, they want a committed relationship. They want a new beginning with you that, that leads to a committed relationship, a stable relationship with you. They want to settle down with you and, you know, um, plant roots with you. But with the moon card, that's the problem. They keep changing their mind with the moon and the wheel of fortune. Something triggers this person that causes them to change their mind. They easily get triggered, though. It's not your fault. This person triggers themselves. You know, it has nothing to do with you. It's not that you're doing anything. They trigger their, they trigger their own self with their negative thinking and pes pessimistic thinking with their fears and insecurities. Um, so they're basically sabotaging this relationship with you. They're sabotaging their, their wish, their wishes and their dreams with the star card. Okay. So they just don't feel like they can go there right now. So right now, what they want is just to reconnect with you and um, have a relationship with you, but not with any type of uh, commitment. Hmm. Let's take a look at their actions towards you moving forward. Let's see. Here we go. Spare angels and guys, please show me what actions will this person be taking towards Gemini moving forward, please. <clears throat> Thank you, Spare. Uh, let's get two shuffles. What actions will this person be taking towards Gemini moving forward into the future? All right, so we have the five of wands. Uh-oh, so be careful. There might be a, a fight or an argument <clears throat> that happens between the two of you. We do have the five of cups, which is disappointment. And we have the ace of cups. Mm. Mm. Uh, Seven of Swords is at the bottom again. Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. Man, this person is deceptive. Really deceptive. All right, let me keep going. Let me see what, uh, what other actions. Tell me, more, Spare, what actions will this person take towards Gemini moving forward? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the Seven of Cups and the Fool. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. I feel like this person is going to, is going to attempt to have a new beginning with you with the Ace of Cups. They are going to try to like uh, attempt to fix things with you, apologize, make things right with you, heal things with you. But it does look like potentially for some of you, there will be a fight or argument or conflict, disagreement. And with the Five of Cups, it just kind of looks like they're not going to be successful at this new beginning that they want with you. Um, and at that point, I do feel like they are going to just, you know, forget about it or they're going to be in this energy of, you know what, I'm just going to forget about it. I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to live my, live my life my own way and do whatever I want to do and, you know, explore my options and find someone new. All right, what's going to happen after? Or well, tell me about Gemini here, spirit. Gemini's energy moving forward into the future. 
in connection to this person's actions. Six of Swords. Oh, okay. So you're you're gonna be moving on. Some of you might be relocating or traveling with the Six of Swords. Tell me more about Gemini's energy in connection to this person's actions moving forward. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, double confirmation that you are um, walking away, moving on, removing yourself from this situation. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So it kind of looks like there was a repetitive um, cycle here or a vicious cycle between you and this person. And you're definitely going to choose to um, stop the cycle. So, yeah, when this person comes towards you trying to, like, continue the cycle here with you, you're not going to allow it. You're not going to let it happen. Uh, Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Chariot and the Empress. And there goes the world. This is nice. You're going to be feeling a lot better about yourself, Gemini, with the Empress and the... And the chariot, the world. I'm getting a new relationship um, for you, Gemini. Ten of Pentacles, and this is the Emperor and the Empress, um, which is a divine uh, match. A divine match. A uh, person sitting in the chariot card is the Emperor. So I do feel like there is a relationship here for you. Um, and it's connected to the world. So it's a brand new experience, a, a brand new relationship a new person um, but it's not going to happen until you uh, walk away from this person uh, twice I don't know why these cars are showing up twice so two times you need to walk away from them consistently or consecutively hmm uh, yeah, okay. You need to walk away from them twice. And then that is going to open up the doors for you for this brand new relationship. And this is a beautiful relationship here. This is definitely um, a mature relationship. It could be an older person is what I'm getting. A little bit older than you. Feels like a mature relationship where you two, you two look like a power couple. That's what you two look like, like a power couple. It looks like both of you are very career oriented is what I'm getting. Uh, both of you might be very like ambitious. I also feel like both of you are going to uh, potentially work together. You might even have a business together. Or you, you might create a business together. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that specific message of like both you're going to be partners, but you're also romantically, but also in business is what I'm getting. Now, you might have a business together or, or um, this person might have a business uh, or you might have a business, but both of you are kind of like pushing each other towards success in career. This is someone who brings just as much to the table as you bring. And I, what I really like about this relationship is that both of you have this mentality of, I don't need you, I want you. There's a difference. I feel like that's the mentality that you have you know, I don't need you, I want you, but I also feel like that's what they have. The same mentality that they have. I don't need you, I want you. Neither of you are going to be together because you need each other. It's because you want each other. So I feel like both of you are very independent and, and stable in your own right. You know? On your own. 
So yeah, I'm getting like power couple vibes from from you and this person. All right, Gemini. So I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.